It feels as if something big and most likely bad for the regime is coming to Damascus. That's why President Assad's supporters paraded on the street outside the hotel, where the UN inspectors and foreign correspondents are staying. We're all Shabiha, they chanted, a reference to the infamous pro-regime militias. President Assad was meeting a delegation from Yemen. He told them Syria would defend itself against Western aggression. At Syria's parliament, the call was for dialogue rather than the language of blood and fire. The phrase was in a letter from the parliamentary speaker, Jihad al-Laham, to his opposite number in the British House of Commons. His email said that al-Qaeda, whose fighters are prominent in the armed opposition, was the common enemy of Syria and Britain, and that history showed local crises could get much bigger. I want to remind you that the First and Second World Wars started like this. Instead of standing against terrorism, the American government and its partners are supporting the terrorists. Syria won't surrender in the face of attack. We'll use all our powers to defend ourselves. At the big state-owned bakeries, much busier than usual, you could sense the tension in the face of what feels here like an impending attack. This woman said she was still waiting after more than four hours. Black marketeers, she complained, were getting the bread and reselling it for more money. Then, in another sign of the strain here, even though we had official accreditation to work, armed regime security men stopped the BBC filming. In a better-off part of Damascus city centre, generators, as usual, were running to help the shopkeepers deal with the power cuts. Two sisters having lunch disagreed about who carried out the chemical attack. Uh, I think so. It's the government. Of course it's the government. We can say it out loud, but I don't care anymore. And what do you think about the chemical weapons? Who, who did it? I think Free Army did it to prove that the uh, Syrian army is hurting everybody. My army, I feel safe. Well, there is a Free Army, I'm, I'm scared. What, what are they going to do? All this year, there's been a sense of movement in the Syrian war. It's felt much less of a stalemate. The government army has been on the offensive. Its allies in Hezbollah and Lebanon have intervened, fighting alongside it. The opposition is better supplied than ever, and the Al-Qaeda affiliate, the Nusra Front, is much more dominant on that side of things. But the prospect of an attack by the most powerful military force in the world and its allies is something of a different magnitude and it makes people here wonder even if it is short and sharp if it happens what kind of effect might it have on the regime its forces have been keeping the pressure on armed rebels in the suburbs of damascus firing out from positions in the heart of the capital positions that in a few days could become targets themselves jeremy bowen bbc news damascus